Are we filming? Perfect. Hey there guys, my name is Richard Powell. Today, I'll be talking about the beloved animal known as the snubfin dolphin. This is a rare, unique dolphin, and it's only found in oceans, much like this one. Expanding all along the northern half of Australia! From approximately Broome onto the west coast, all the way to the Brisbane River on the east coast. The type of environment for the snubfin dolphin is cold with shallow waters. More so, they enjoy residing in waters like mangroves, salt marshes, seagrass, and tidal environments. In this type of habitat, the snubfin is an important predator that helps to keep diversity in the food chain alive, which in turn aids in the environmental survival. Survival. Snubfin dolphins feed on fish, squid, and crustaceans. They're out in this ocean. They use a technique known as spitting to catch fish as the water splashes. It diverts the fish into different directions. They have no idea what's going on. Much like me. Yelling? Yeah. The snubfin dolphin isn't the most beautiful creature out there. It is typically three colored with a dark dorsal, light brown on the flanks, and a white belly. Snubfins have a rounded forehead, no beak, a visible neck crease, which is extremely mobile, a particularly snubby dorsal fin, and broad flippers. If you ever see one out in the ocean, it looks like it's smiling. The maximum recorded length for males is about 2.7 meters and 2.3 meters for females. The oldest one of these creatures could reach is about 28 years. It is unknown how many of these extraordinary creatures are about in Australia's oceans but scientists guesstimate the population sizes are very low. Because of their low population, it is difficult to detect any sudden changes to the remaining species. All right, let's stand up. Fun fact, Roebuck Bay on the Western Australian Kimberley Coast has the most concentrated population of snubfin dolphins. All right. The snubfin is prey to large target sites. All right, actually, Siger targs. The snubfin is prey to large sharks and bull sharks. That's it. Humans have a large impact on these beautiful dolphins. Majestic dolphins. These include coastal development, which is resulting in habitat destruction and degradation, increased pollutants entering the waterways, etc. These dolphins also are victim to boat strikes. A lot of people driving their boats uh, in certain areas where they're not supposed to or if they're going too fast end up hitting the dolphins and causing fatality or injury. On top of this there's also noise pollution. Dolphins communicate through sonar and whistles. Uh, we have a lot of noise going on from boats and uh, it interferes with their communication. Wow, that's a great question. How can you help out these dolphins? Sorry about that, we had a lighting problem. We got it fixed. Oh wow, that's a great question. How can you help out these dolphins? For you fishers and boaters out there, do not approach dolphins too closely with your boat, as species such as the Australian snubfin dolphin may be sensitive to harassment and unfair noise, and boats may disturb their natural behavior, as well as you hitting into them, so don't do that. Next, minimize the amount of pollutants and sediment in the coastal waters. Make sure you're not polluting at all. Cheers. Well, thanks for watching, guys. That's all. I'd like to thank the Wilderness Society, Queensland Government Department of Environmental and Heritage Protection, and the WWF for helping myself and society increase the awareness and guidance of helping these amazing creatures survive and repopulate.